take a look. Perfect shot. Makes history. Five pilots. One squadron. The galaxy's finest. Wow, the eight-year-old in all of us is celebrating and excited. The 37-year-old man on this couch is excited. Ladies and gentlemen, for the second year in a row, I have the honor and privilege of helping introduce a new Star Wars title. And here to put the hype in hyperdrive is none other than Motive's creative director, Ian Frazier. Hello, Ian. Hey, Greg, how you doing? I'm great, how are you? Doing good, happy to actually get to show this to people. I bet. Now, uh, in my copious notes I have on you, I'm told you are quite the Star Wars fan and have been a long time. How long have you liked Star Wars? I've been a Star Wars fan for pretty much my whole life. I don't even remember the first time I saw the movies. And as a kid, there was a lot of different parts of Star Wars I loved. One of them was being a pilot, that idea of climbing into an X-Wing or a TIE fighter. So, you know, I played all the flight games in the 90s, and I got pretty obsessive about them. I'd pause, meticulously draw the insides of the cockpits and stuff. And actually, I dug up some of those drawings from my parents' attic over the holidays. We're showing them right now to the world. This strikes me as above and beyond the normal level of Star Wars fandom. Uh, I think at Motive, you'll find that quite a few people have that level of Star Wars fandom. Uh, when we started this project, I talked to a lot of people as they joined the team, and a lot of them had similar kinds of stories of things they'd done as kids. One of them even built a functional cockpit in his garage. Wow, <laughs> that's, a, that's fandom on another level. How do you guys go from being a fan, drawing what you see in the game, or building a cockpit in your garage, to actually making this game? Well, I think that fandom, just love of Star Wars, has provided a really good foundation for us. But on top of that, of course, the team at Motive got a lot of experience working with Star Wars when they worked on Battlefront 2. And when Battlefront 2 wrapped up, there was a really small group of us that were really into, particularly, the pilot experience within Star Wars. And we wanted to make something new, something that really went all in on that part of the fantasy. And so we, we did kind of a grassroots initiative, or started a little passion project, and that ramped up into eventually what is the game we're going to show you today. You talk about, you know, your passion for this, your nostalgia for Star Wars flight games of the past. How do you honor that but make something brand new? It's been interesting. You know, we, we're trying to kind of pull from that spiritual heritage of many different games in that time period. Um, at the same time, we want to do something that feels fresh and new for fans today. And so what we've tried to look at is sort of the spiritual core of what I think are the best of the Star Wars flight games of the past. And what they did that I love is that they made that part of the universe real. The level of depth and detail that they show in the ships, the, the way that you control them, is something that I remember fondly from my childhood and is something that we're trying to do very much with squadrons. You know, in real life, being a pilot is, is hard. It takes skill. And that's something that you'll see throughout the game. You know, as you start off playing, it's pretty straightforward, fly around, shoot your lasers. But as you get deeper into it, you start learning how to divert energy from your lasers to your, to your engines, how to shift your shields from the front to the back to cover your butt in a dogfight. Or at the higher levels of skill, you could do really crazy stuff. Like you can boost your engines, fly ahead, cut them off, whip around 180 and shoot a missile off your own tail while drifting backwards. Like real ace pilot stuff. And that's, that's really where we have a lot of fun with the game. I want to do that. I want to learn how to do that. <laughs> I understand the nuts and bolts of how to play it. Is there a single player story? Is there a multiplayer mode? What are we getting into? It's actually some of both. So the game starts with a brand new single player story, it takes place a little bit after Return of the Jedi, and it has kind of a, a unique dual perspective approach to it. So when the game starts, you're going to create two pilots. You create a New Republic pilot and an Imperial pilot, and you're going to alternate between their perspectives mission to mission over the course of the story. You're going to meet a diverse cast of characters along the way, and also a few familiar faces. Now, when you're done with that story, and you've played maybe a bit in the practice range, you say, hey, I want to try multiplayer. 
We want to make it really easy for you to hop online with your friends and play competitive space battles at that point. Um, and so we, we've done a lot to try to reduce the barriers to make it as easy as possible for you to play with your friends. And so I'm happy to say we fully support cross-play. You could be on PS4, Xbox One, uh, PC. You could be playing on a traditional display or in VR, which, fun fact, the entire game supports VR from beginning to end, which is pretty cool. But regardless of how you're playing, which platform, they can all play together. Just hook up with your friend, connect, have an awesome space battle. You just death starred my mind, man. Like, I don't, that's awesome. That is, uh, the big question, uh, when can people actually play it? Uh, not too long, actually. Uh, Star Wars Squadrons is coming out on October 2nd. Okay, okay, not too long at all. I was worried about you. I thought you were gonna <laughs> leave me on a teaser there. You didn't, you actually delivered. I appreciate that. The next big ask I have, on behalf of everybody watching, I'm sure, who came here for one specific reason, can we see some new gameplay of it? Can we see any gameplay of it? Absolutely, I, I kind of figured you might want to. On behalf of everyone at Motive and the team at Lucasfilm, I am very happy to show you the world's first look at gameplay of Star Wars Squadrons. Enjoy. Star Wars Squadrons. Earn your wings in a single player story spanning two factions. All stations, fire on that ship! And master multiplayer battles as a squadron of five. With the option to play the entire game in VR. This is the definitive Star Wars pilot experience. Uh, come on, come on! You'll begin your career in a single-player story. Welcome to Titan Squadron. Where you'll play as two combat pilots, flying for both the Empire and the New Republic. You'll experience this world through your cockpit. The instrumentation in front of you provides critical feedback about power management, targeting, and shields. With a squadron of diverse characters at your side, Prove your skills on increasingly challenging missions. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyard. One of my spies has linked the attacks with the New Republic Starhawk project. The story of the two pilots you play Stick together. will shape the balance of power in the galaxy. Get ready! Let them have it! To take the fight online, you'll need flight time with all eight ships. Fighters are the most flexible and versatile, able to handle any situation. Interceptors are fast and highly maneuverable. Let's get them. Ideal for hunting down your opponent's starfighters. That was kind of fun. Support ships can keep allies safe and stocked up, as well as disrupting enemy fighters. Light them up. Nice. Bombers are the heavy hitters, able to deal devastating damage to enemy flagships and starfighters. If you've got a preferred component and need something customized, I'll take care of it. Unlock everything you need to customize your pilot and starfighters simply by playing the game. From cosmetics to an arsenal of over 50 components that alter how your ships fly, fight, and survive. They're on you! I'll deal with it. You can dramatically change your loadout depending on your squadron's strategy. Finally got him! This will be critical in Star Wars Squadron's multiplayer modes. First up, dogfights. This is an all-out 5v5 battle. That hard five, that was the best! Fine-tune your loadouts to work as a team. Moving in on the enemy. Utilize components like tractor beams, turrets, and mines to slow down your opponents or set up your squad mates for the kill. Rebels unlocked. For teams looking for an even greater challenge, it's time to prove yourself in Star Wars Squadron's signature mode, Fleet Battles. Fleet Battles are multi-stage conflicts. 
Whether playing solo or with friends, you'll have the option to compete against other players or AI as a squadron of five. Don't worry, I got him for you. Meet your team in the social hub to solidify strategy, coordinate loadouts, and prepare for takeoff. First, push the front line by winning the dogfight in the center of the map. Next, attack or defend two medium-sized capital ships. We've lost our capital ships. And finally, the ultimate goal. Target and destroy the subsystems of your opponent's massive flagship and take it down. Shields are disabled. At each phase, your squadron either pushes the line forward or falls back to defend. Keep our flagships safe. It's your squadron's choice of how to play. I'm hit! Speedy, unrelenting assaults. Stay together, strike quickly. Stealth and subversion. Jamming the enemy. Sensors can't spot you. Or brutal bombardment. That ship is vulnerable. Take your shot. We need to hurry. A unified squadron is the key to victory. Making my attack run now. Let's make this count. This is Star Wars Squadrons. Join the galaxy's finest and make your mark. hope of this galaxy. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Lamar Jackson. I'm excited to be a part of the EA Sports family and to be you guys' new man cover athlete. 